Hi and welcome to another video tutorial from Interpayroll, part of a uh, tutorial series for Small Business Resource Centre aimed at helping small businesses get the most out of the web um, for free. So today we'll be looking at creating an Apple inspired navigation bar for your website and we'll be creating that in Photoshop which we can then slice up and export out to either to Dreamweaver or, or uh, front page or simply notepad whatever you uh, go ahead and design your website in. So let's go ahead and power up Photoshop. Now you can use any version of Photoshop, it's not version specific. So we'll just go ahead and create a new document and we're going to create it with a, a width of 800 and a height of 200 with a resolution of 300. We'll go ahead and click OK. And there's our canvas. I'm just going to make that a bit wider there. Now for our colors, we've got two colors. We're going to use a light gray and the hex code is 6Es. And we're also going to use a darker shade of gray with a hex code of 6 fours. Once we've done that, we're just going to create a new layer and grab our rounded rectangle tool. If you can't see the tool, hold down your left click and uh, select it from the list there. And once we've got that, we are simply going to drag across and create our bar. That looks a bit right. Now we're going to create a new layer just to smooth this out and we're going to select both layers and hold command and E if you're on a Mac and control and E on a PC. Once we've got that I'm just going to bring this down to the middle. We're now going to apply a gradient to the bar and to do this we're going to right click on our layer and go to blending options, go down to gradient overlay and we'll just keep it from black to white. Now the blend mode we're going to use uh, overlay so it just burns it into the image just to give it a softer touch and we're going to apply a drop shadow and I think we will do about 60. Now for angle we want it to come straight down so we'll do 90. Distance we're going to do uh, let's do 2 and size we're going to do 3 and then click OK. Once We've done that, I'll just shut off the background layer so we can see a bit clearly. I'm going to create another new layer. And I'm just going to flip my colours over and we will create our links. And do home about just do a few for demonstration purposes. Obviously, you would go ahead and add as many or as few as you need. You can play around with the text here, it's however you'd like it. I'm just going to space these out a bit. Right, there we go. I'll just space it out a bit more.
and there's our link. Now we'll need to create our separator. So go ahead and create a new layer. And for this we're going to zoom in. Up there. Grab our rectangular marquee tool. And we're just going to select a pixel wide that's halfway down, up there. We're now going to go and select our gradient tool, which might be hiding behind your paint bucket, as it is with mine. I'm going to double click on here and just make sure we're selecting it from this one, black to transparent. Just make sure it's black. We're just going to double click and select black, and click OK and OK. Once we've done that, we're going to hold down Shift left click and drag it to the top and let go. We can now go ahead and select our move tool, hold command and D or control and D if you're on a PC to deselect. Next we're going to hold an alt and we're just going to drag another one out and that's created a copy. We're then going to go to image, sorry edit, transform and flip vertical and now we're going to line it up with this one. Once we've done that we're going to select both layers and command or control E to merge and we are then going to create another copy holding alt and dragging out. With this one we're going to hold command or control I to invert and we're going to move it right next to the black one. Again, selecting both layers, Command and Control E to merge. And then we're going to change this to overlay to burn it in. Now if we zoom out, you can see we've got our separator there. And we can just drag this in between. And we can copy it by holding Shift and Alt to keep it in line and let go when we're ready and keep on doing the same until we have enough for all our buttons. And there we go. That's our navigation done. We can then now go ahead and slice this and import into Dreamweaver. And if you're looking to do a rollover effect, then for your rollover, you can go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and just take the brightness down. Sorry, if I select the right layer. Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Now we can take the brightness down and you have your rollover effect. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and for more tutorials like this, please visit interpayroll.co.uk slash blog.